Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So the other day I was sat there thinking about how totally dead modern gaming is, very original thought I know, when out of the blue I just decided to whoopsie blow literally all of my money on a gaming PC. When I got home from the PC store I set my PC up and a spectral apparition manifested through my screen and re-virginified me. As this apparition began disappearing through the nether he whispered to me a small price to pay for paradise. And guess what? He was right. Ultra Kill is a game that a very small, very sweaty section of the gaming verse will not stop frothing over. And I'm about to join him. Opinions on the internet tend to be extreme. Oh my god, Halo Infinite is a dead piece of trash. Hey, this is kind of cool. It's just the way it is. And after I got lost in my very own Ultra Kill is the greatest thing on earth echo chamber, I went into the game with very high expectations. Expectations that at first weren't exactly met. <laughs> No, not that bad. I don't know how to explain it. When I first started playing Ultra Kill, it wasn't like it was a bad experience. It just didn't quite grab me by the gooch like I thought it would. It has one of those let's not tell the player a damn thing type of stories, so I didn't know what the hell was going on. And in the very beginning, all you have is this dorky ass pistol to play with. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? Come on internet, I expected better. Even though Ultra Kill's pew pew shooting didn't immediately face suck me to euphoria, there was a little something something, a cheeky little taste of gameplay pleasure that made me go, okay internet, maybe you are onto something. And that was the movement. 24th January 2013. The day that Vine came out. The day that humanity's attention span died. The day that FPS is not having Sonic the Hedgehog speed ceased to exist. Everybody hated COD when it went through its advanced movement phase. Jetpack cringe. Jetpack break gameplay balance. Well guess what? Even the newer CODs, the CODs that supposedly went back to basics, are like 500% faster than the OG CODs. Every FPS these days has clambering and sliding and sprinting, except for Valorant. Now honestly, my feelings are mixed about this. A part of me, the part that watches 3 hour vine compilations on repeat, that part of me loves this speed. The other part of me, the part that loves to <laughs> slurp my coffee nice and loud while watching a beautiful sunset, that part of me misses the slower era. Now Ultra Kill, Ultra Kill is fast as fuck boy. <laughs> but it isn't Ultra Kill's raw speed that makes its movement special. It's the freedom. freedom. While every other shooter was like, oh, gotta get faster, gotta get faster. The TikTok kids want more speed. Suey. Ultra Kill goes, hey, wait a minute. Let's just let the kids do whatever they want. Okay. Right from minute one, there are no skill unlocks required. If you want to jump to the heavens, you can jump to the heavens. When I first felt this movement, this freedom, I felt like Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 2 when he gets his power back and he's all like <laughs> I'm flying through the air at hyper speed like <laughs> usually when a game pranks out and launches you across the map usually that's annoying as shit but in ultra kill getting launched to the heavens it's actually proper jokes you know when you're getting back home after a hot and steamy date and there's just so much lust and passion built up between the two of you that you just start making out in the hallway and start knocking shit over because there's so much lust and passion. And then, you know, as you make your way to the bedroom because there's so much lust and passion, you grab your girl and you just, you just launch her straight to the bed. Yeah, that's what, that's what Ultra Kill feels like. If, if you were the girl. I'm an adult virgin. <laughs> Marcus Brownlee once said, iPod Nano, iPod, iPod Touch, iPhone, iPhone Pro, iPad, iPad Pro. What he was talking about was escalation. Yeah, the movement was tight from minute one, but realistically that wasn't enough to keep me invested in Ultra Kill. What kept me going through the game on my first playthrough was the way that the game just keeps surprising you with cool new shit. Okay, the pistol is a bit goofy. Wait 10 minutes and here's a shotgun that can blow enemies up. Wait another 10 minutes and here's a nail gun that can nail enemies up. Yo, kill me with this! 
Now, getting funky new guns to play with ain't something particularly special to Ultra Kill. And that ain't the escalation I'm talking about either. The special thing about Ultra Kill is the way that each new weapon isn't just a weapon. It's a tool. <laughs> Have you ever done that thing when you're playing a game and the game is kind of just meh? And you start thinking to yourself, wouldn't it be cool if you could do this or you could do that? Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill is that game. All the cool shit that you've ever wished you could do in a game, you can do in Ultra Kill and more. You want to nuke some fools? Use your imagination and create your very own nuclear explosion. You like blowing enemies up? Use your imagination and blow yourself <laughs> up. Other games have quote unquote sandboxes, but Ultra Kill. I'm not just saying this as a way to be a lyrical, spiritual, miracle game reviewer. Ultra Kill gave me a freedom that, I don't know, bruh, it low key ruined every other FPS for me. Up till now, I've only kind of talked about why Ultra Kill is a great game. But what about what makes it special to moi? There are a lot of great games out there, but none of them stole my gamer heart like Ultra Kill. Before playing this game, I kind of had gamer burnout. I don't know, man. Every time I enjoyed a game, it felt like there was always an asterisk. I like playing Warzone, but that's mainly because I like playing with my friends. I like playing Don't Die Dateless, but that's mainly because I'm an adult virgin. I like playing Ultra Kill because I like playing Ultra Kill. Games being tough as shit is in fashion right now. Shout out to the inventor of difficulty Hidetaka Miyazaki. And I have dipped my toe into the Soulsborne lifestyle. But if I'm being 100p honest, sometimes with these other mega hardcore gamer video games, sometimes I can't tell if I like the idea of liking it more than I actually like it. Ultra Kill is different. It started off with just a tease. I dipped my hand into the cookie jar with my first normal playthrough. That was supposed to be it. Just one playthrough. But when I finished eating that cookie, I peeked back in the jar and all I saw was D. Hakita Sensei kept slapping me in the face with his D, D, D. And I was like, excuse me, Mr. Hakita Arsi Patala. That is very rude. So I started training. And after I trained, I got that P. That beautiful golden P. I didn't know it at the time, but Ultra Kill had got me. I needed more P. And in the blink of an eye, I had played through the game on violent. Along that journey, I went from Virgin Pistol Pleb to Chad Combo Master Thundercock. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the escalation I'm talking about. Corbett. Let's look at noob gameplay in Valorant. Now let's look at pro gameplay in Valorant. Let's look at noob gameplay in Ultra Kill. Now let's look at pro gameplay in Ultra Kill. No other game has given me such pure bliss in my quest to get good. Don't get me wrong, I definitely grind for dubs in Warzone. I am a winner winner chicken dinner enthusiast, but that's different. In those cases, it's about the destination, not the journey. With Ultra Kill, there ain't no skill based blah blah, no XP foo foo, no gun skin ga ga. It's about the game. And that's a beautiful thing. Again, Ultra Kill ain't the only game in the world that gives you the ability to level up your epic single player skills, but it is one of the only games that makes it feel so organic. All those other level up type games, they have skill unlocks and statistical upgrades. Step back and sing it for a vomit! In Ultra Kill, basically the first weapon unlock you get is the coin. Does said coin generically, I don't know, increase your rate of fire? That's a negative, private. Unlocking the coin lets you throw a coin. At first I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. You can shoot bullets off the coin. Nice. How Mr. Guido of you, Hakita Patala. But to be honest, I thought it was kind of useless. In my first playthrough, I probably used the coin like four times. What I later realized was that I was a fool. I simply was not aware of your game, Mr. Coin. You sussy baka. This thing, it's the goat. Not only is it omega powerful, it's also just, just beautiful. Once you practice using the coin and figure out how to implement it into your gameplay, the coin will become your bread and butter. 
and that is Ultra Kill. In Ultra Kill, you are never bad, but you can always get better. It teases you with little cookie crumbs. Each level is super short and you can blaze through the campaign in like 5 or 10 minutes. So you're always teased into more and more and more. Ultra Kill is a better, more beautiful, more kind, more erotic version of the hardcore gamer lifestyle. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it stole my gamer heart.